Beautiful. Same piece of equipment to demonstrate atmospheric pressure. Hang on to that guy. Uh, we just did this out of water. What's going to happen? You place the card thing on top, and then when you turn it upside down, it's still there. Very good. Everything goes on top. Three, two, oh. one. one. You got it, Stefan? Oh, we did this in primary school. We turned it upside down. We did this with Mr. O'Boyle. I so all that mentioned, Mr. O'Boyle's name uh, on the internet, don't have to leave it up. So I take my finger away, and it oh stays. Oh my god! You're <laughs> <laughs> not so cool anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's harsh. That's harsh. Kevin, take another one of those in the other. Okay, I'll have to delete this part. You have to delete this part. Oh yeah, it's like TV's best bloopers. It's like they do it. Yeah, I'll do I'll do folder here. Do follow the thing. So we have to do the thing with the number three. Right. Those are my notes in it. We want to do this fairly quickly because the class is going to be over in two minutes. Let me go upside down and we take it away. And there it stays. So why is it staying up? Because of the pressure. Because, because, because you've got atmospheric. Remember this jelly we're talking about? This invisible jelly. It's all around. It's underneath it and it's holding it up just like that. Sally, move away from the camp order, please. That's like me, or something. Now just to show you that it's not just sticky, we can do the same thing with something like this. Same idea, just what kind of glass is this called? Uh, a round bottom. Round bottom. Round bottom. Flat bottom. Flat bottom. Flat bottom. Flat bottom. You can tell it's called a flat bottom glass because it's got a flat bottom. Okay. So the last one, just in case you thought it was sticky, three, two, one, turn it upside down. And. Da 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 da. Oh god. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Okay, we're almost done. One or two more to go now. That is demonstrating what did we say? Atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure. So the last demonstration for atmospheric pressure, and if in an exam, if you're asked to demonstrate one, you can give any of them. But just in case you're told about one of these and you're asked what it demonstrates, we better try each of these. So this one is the one that's done a lot. You've got steam coming out there. As soon as I put it upside down and in here, what's going to happen? It's, it's going to implode. Why? So what? Okay, so we're getting rid of the air that's in there. We're getting rid of the air that's in there because there's water vapor down at the bottom. Girls, leave the pencil cases alone, please. There's water at the bottom turning to water vapor. As it turns to water vapor, it pushes out all the air in front of it. So now inside in that can, there's just water vapor pressing out against the atmosphere, and that's what's preventing it from crushing in. If I can make that water vapor go back to water, then there'll be all those molecules will be down at the bottom and therefore there'll be nothing to press out. And therefore, to make it go from water vapor to water, we need to cool it down very quickly. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn it upside down, put it in the water, it can cool down very quickly, and as a result, the pressure is going to press in. So three, two, one. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Yeah. That was so quick. Okay. Now, the second thing is, there was an awful lot more water there than there was when I took it out of here. Why did all that water go into it? Because it the freeze the it 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 up. Up. Why did it suck it up? Because it needed stuff to fill the where the air was. Because there was a vacuum there and all the air around it pushed it up. Okay? So it's a final demonstration to show that atmospheric pressure actually exists. Now I think there might be one left to do. Atmospheric pressure, uh, oh yeah.